Welcome back to The Spiritual Social. I'm Lexi, your local light worker. I'm a tarot reader and an astrologer. Welcome to the type of reading that you guys have been waiting for for quite a while now. I do apologize for keeping you waiting for so long. It just so happened that with everything going on in the world and in my personal life, romantic energy hasn't been so easily accessible in 2022 for me. And instead of actually lying to you guys, I prefer to wait wait for the right moment where I felt inspired and called to create another channeled love message for you. I know that in the past you guys love these types of readings. They are among some of my most popular and I really enjoyed creating them and I just wanted to wait for the right astral configuration, maybe the right energy there's a lot of fire in the sky at the moment and it touches upon my natal fire dominant birth chart so i feel like right now there's the spark of passion and romanticism that came back to me and i feel again inspired to divinate for you guys it's a channeled message from your soulmate and this reading is also quite special because i have here for you two satchels so you have a choice between the pink satchel with pompons that has my name hand embroidered on it and for group two i have here a more modest looking satchel but it's sweet nonetheless it has hello soulmate written on it it contained a pair of shoes and inside both of these satchels there are handwritten notes that i have collected in the last six months in spite of the fact that i haven't been feeling romantic from time to time especially when the moon was either in leo or aries i would feel called right before bedtime to write a message to write an affirmation to write an intention and i would almost like get it from the ether i don't know where it came from it was right at that liminal stage where my mind was tired after a day's work and I was slowly drifting away to sleep I wrote them down I collected these notes over the span of six months and now they are here I divided them last night in these two satchels and I have no idea what they are supposed to say I don't remember the messages that I actually divinated for you guys it will be a surprise for me too I do have here the Synchronicity Oracle, which is an oracle of symbols and, oops, sorry about mixing the camera. And I also have here the Broken Isn't Bad Tarot. Then I'm going to pull from these clarifying tarot and oracle deck. But I am reliant upon, mostly, on these messages, on the love notes that are contained inside these two satchels. So these are actually gifts from wonderful subscribers and followers that have been with me for the last two years now neha and akanksha if you're watching this i'm sending you so much love thank you so much um they hand designed a pair of shoes for me and they sent me this gift in december last year totally making my holiday spirit it was just such a beautiful thing to have a hand embroidered bag with your name on it and to have handmade shoes for you thank you so much i love you guys please take a moment now to choose with your gut rather than your eyes although i know that they're both quite sweet and appealing choose the bag that you feel contains potential love messages from your soulmate 
This can be somebody that you know or somebody that you have yet to meet. So it applies to you even if you are single. This could be the energy that you are meant to call in. So hearing these messages might help you manifest your soulmate. Now that all of this is clarified, I've introduced you the options. I hope that you've made a choice. So let's begin with satchel number one. Hello, satchel number one crew. So this is for those of you that were drawn to this Lexi pink bag with pompons and gilded rim. So let's see, what messages did you get from your soulmate? Okay, just to make sure that I have everything out. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take the bag and put it over here. Now, let's find out. Forsake doubt. What are you waiting for? Tell me what lies heavy on your beautiful heart. That's a mark of our restless passion on your neck. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's getting quite quite erotic. My poor, impatient, love-starved heart knows no direction but you. Be mine and mine only, but I know you belong to Father Time. Oh, so we have Saturn here making a presence. Father Time is Kronos, and Kronos is the Greek name of Saturn. Let me make you something good to eat. This is so sweet, so this person is a foodie. Potentially Cancer energy. I'm making time for us. I earned it. Okay. Somebody who struggled financially and now has time for love. I revel in the pleasure of looking at you. So this person could be watching you from afar. Forget the past with me. Rest with me. Break bread with me. Hmm. I'm reminded here about um, a song by Janae Aiko. Maybe you'd like to listen to her. I catch faint memories of your body moving in wisps of smoke. This person might smoke. They might idealize your image as they replay certain scenes that happen between you two as this person is smoking. I want to cook breakfast in bed for you. Clearly, clearly a person that enjoys eating or enjoys kind of domestic pleasures, enjoys being at home. Together we make such a beautiful family. Wow, so this is somebody that really thought about you living with them, sharing space with them potentially might have fantasized about you as the parent you know that they could have next to them somebody that could parent children with and then i have here i want to take you in the most heartfelt embrace i want to take you into the most heartfelt embrace this person has deep affection for you it's not just lust I deserve the love you want to give me. I accept it now. Okay, there might have been some issues here in the past with giving and receiving love. Maybe you tried, but this person wasn't open to it. They are open to it now. Allow me in, please. <laughs> I got goosebumps. The messages speak to one another so beautifully. So this person wants in inside your body, inside your heart. 
You feed me beyond fucking delights. Or no, sorry. <laughs> my dirty mouth, my dirty mind. You feed me beyond feeding delights. It might be also that this person is trying to let go of some sort of sexual gratification, quick quick sexual addiction, quick sexual acts. Might try to bury their dating apps and just wanting to hunker into, rooting into a loving connection. So these are the love notes. As you can see, this person feels a little bit broken, is quite vulnerable. They enjoy looking at you. They're quite sensual. There is the theme of food, cooking for you, eating with you, waking up next to you. They are possessive and jealous. This is a person that wants to feel like they earned spending time with you. They're up for a challenge. Maybe in the past, things between the two of you were too easy. Or maybe you're single at the moment, you haven't met this person and you're about to meet this individual that kind of wants to be put through a challenge in order to feel like they deserve you. I'm getting very strong Scorpio and Capricorn energy, Cancer as well. Also low-key Taurus or Virgo. What else does this person want to say to group one? So the symbols that you got are the following. We have Leo here right in the middle. We have the couple making love and you see all their chakras aligning. So this is spiritual love making. We have crystals. We have the arrow which to me represents Sagittarius energy. We have the alien, which to me represents Aquarius energy, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Dove of Peace. We have here the occult hand, palmistry. We have the lotus, awakening. So I feel like this individual, you can get to them by using or tapping into your spiritual objects, your spiritual tools, and your spiritual knowledge. You have psychic abilities, group one, and I feel like you can connect with your soulmate on the 5D very easily. All it takes is some practice. Some practice, a well-set altar with the right crystals, and you going there, going where no person has gone before, opening up to the many possibilities that I feel this soulful telepathic connection that you have with this person can bring you in your life. This is about seeing with your, with one of your five senses that is not about sight. This is about seeing with your body, feeling things through your skin, seeing the truth of who this person is to you through the skin, the hand, the eye, understanding a person on such a deep level the leo here talks about pride it also talks about loyalty becoming the family the head of the family leadership it talks about taking center stage and becoming number one to me leo also speaks about choosing being the chosen one so we see the brave lion staring bravely into the future this person wants a future with you. They want to move in with you. This person wants to take all of your doubts away, almost like wiping your forehead and kissing it. Tell me what lies heavy on your beautiful heart. Forsake doubt. What are you waiting for? They want you to claim them. I revel in the pleasure of looking at you. My poor, impatient, love-starved heart. You feed me beyond feeding the lights. This person wants to replace their normal nourishment with loving you. Hmm. Any other channeled messages? What else do we have here? 
Yes, the devil. I feel bound and chained to my past. I feel like you set me on fire, a flame. Quenched only by desire. This person's energy extends to you. They are sending you sexual energy. We have here Capricorn again. And we have the Lotus position, which talks about the awakening that we saw here. It's kind of like halfway between the gutter and the stars. This energy of... It can be something so beautiful, but also something so low at the same time. The bats, which represent rebirth in the background, coming out of a deep cave of persecution, isolation, and darkness, coming out into the light, breaking the chain, breaking whatever was holding you back and holding your soulmate back from being together with one another. We also have here the Knight of Wands, which talks very clearly about running towards your faith, running towards this adventure, being brave, being bold. It also talks about a reformed player because we have here Capricorn energy and Sagittarius energy, a person potentially born on the cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn, a person that might have actually looked for selfish delights in this connection but now has become love struck and needs your energy needs to be with you from the devil it this person upgraded to a unicorn and the knight of wands is to a large extent a knight in shining armor we see here the pyramid potentially a connection to egypt the past life in egypt solar energy noble, divine and completely aware of how from deep darkness it can transform itself back into solar light and consciousness these are the channeled messages from your soulmate that I had for you group 1 I really hope you have enjoyed them thank you for being here and listening and I hope to see you in my next one take care my loves, bye Hey group two, so this is for those of you that were drawn to the more modest looking but equally sweet Hello Soulmate satchel. Inside there are notes, channeled love notes from your soulmate. So let's get down to the business. Let's find out. Let's get down to business. Maybe this person, you meet them through work or you have met them through work. Let's see. Are you ready? Let's find out what your soulmate has to say to you. Maybe I begin with this one. Okay, so very strongly we begin with jealousy. I'm jealous of the rain that gets to touch your hair. Swim towards me. Don't sink. Don't drown. Keep swimming in my direction. So we see a lot of water here already between the two of you. <laughs> I'm eating you up with my hungry eyes. This reminds me of that 80s song. Hungry eyes. You know you have my heart. Why do you deny it? <laughs> my fingertips are so happy to kiss your skin. Mm. This person is quite romantic and sensual. Claim me. You've got the power. You always had it an interesting pattern here with people wanting to be claimed for some reason group one had it as well do you think you don't deserve to be loved this much 
Wow. How badly do you want to be loved, group two? Your sweet like chocolate lips. Okay. So some of you might have already kissed your soulmate. Your soulmate thinks that your lips taste like chocolate. Oh, I hid something in your bedroom. So most likely those of you that have chosen this group have already had some sort of contact with your soulmate. Maybe intimate one if the bedroom is mentioned. Check your bedroom. Do a little bit of summer cleanup or autumn cleanup and see what you find there. Sorry, no, why did I say autumn? If you live in the southern hemisphere, that's winter time. <laughs> so, cast the net of pleasure around you. Let me sink in it. Whew. I'm going to cry in your arms. It feels so good each time you hold me. Sorry, my cat Luna decided to join us. She's very curious about the light. I'm too stubborn to fuck someone else. Whoa. Uh -huh. So, in case you are wondering, your soulmate is not together with anyone at the moment. Have it your way while I have you in my dreams over and over again. Wow. So this person is very passionate. Very, very passionate. They have these rich fantasies about making love to you. Let me be your medic, your healer, your funny little sloppy valentine. <laughs> so sweet. The way you opened up to me, the way your body pulled me in and held me. So clearly some reminiscence. I want to mark you, stop you and enthrall you. Even when I'm sick, I think of you. Your smile is my medicine. Never let me go. Always call me back. Oh, so you guys might have separated or were separated due to circumstances. Or this might happen in the future for those of you who haven't met your soulmate yet. Without you, I ache so strongly that my bones crackle in the night with yearning electricity. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is such a deep longing. And then the final one. I can't believe how strongly my heart beats when I hear your name. So this person thinks about your name. They wonder what your name might be as well if they don't know it. There is such a deep longing here. This is clearly a past life connection. This is a soulmate that you're not just going to meet here on this incarnation for the first time. This is somebody that you share history with. Let me see. What does the tower have to say? The majority of you haven't met this person. Others of you have met this person and decided to let them go because the cards appear blocked. So there is some sort of wall blockage. You haven't met. You're not communicating. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles. So Earth energy. This is the same aged Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. We have here the Ten of Pentacles, the person that you will build a family with, a legacy, potentially even generational wealth for your children to enjoy. And I see here the Page of Cups, budding romantics, mm -hmm. feeling quite shy about this romance that is starting between the two of you. 
You're meant to fall deeply in love with each other, begin this new loving connection and this incarnation and this lifetime. You see Pisces energy as well. So it could be a connection between an earth sign and a water sign that are meant to create a legacy together. Mm. I feel that the energy is much, much deeper, much more soulful than with group one. Group one was quite domestic, quite homely, um, and they were sexually intense, a little bit jealous. But here I feel this is a poet, an artist. Let's see one card from the Synchronicity Oracle. I'm going to choose the first one that popped up. <laughs> So you got the clown, you also got the arrow, and it's a much bigger arrow. So this person wants to shoot their shot, they're aiming for you. This also speaks about Cupid throwing an arrow, getting you to open up your heart to love. We see here the race course, so potentially this person could be a sportsman as well. We had swimming here, they could be a swimmer. I'm jealous of the rain that gets to touch your hair, swim towards me, don't sink, don't drown, keep swimming in my direction. We see here a handshake, an agreement, this person wants to marry you, they want you to sign the nuptial agreement. <laughs> there is ink and paper and um, quill. I wanted to say ink and paper, but ink and quill. So again, artistic abilities, writing abilities, this person could both be athletically endowed but also mentally alert so they might write but they might also enjoy sports we see here the spider carefully and slowly weaving this web this is also the karmic connection the link between the two of you past life energy as well and we see here of course the lemnus cut which is this infinity symbol, the symbol of power, things constantly turning back to the point that created them. So you are destined to meet your soulmate in this incarnation, to be with them. It's a sure thing, right, with the arrow. The arrow also represents protection from evil. And then we also have here the wings of an angel. So you see spiritual divine protection, what's meant to be will happen. Even though life might pull a couple of roundabouts, even though it might make you feel a little bit silly in your romantic path, you are destined to be together with your person. Spider energy is feminine energy as well. So awakening divine femininity. I feel like for you, you could be the unacknowledged um, leader in this connection. So you could be the one that is meant to move heart forward in this situation i feel here sagittarius energy is also again represented and libra energy as well i feel that these could be the wings of archangel michael as they appear here you could also low-key be in some sort of competition with your soulmate you might not be aware of it you both could be quite beautiful individuals you both could be um talented with writing you both might be interested in moving your bodies, athleticism, doing sports, um, eating in a healthy, conscious way, um, taking care of your calorie intake. There is an energy here that you guys match very well, right? So the hands that touch here. And we had this, um, I want to mark you, stop you and enthrall you. But it was something about my fingertips are so happy to kiss your skin. So this person kisses you with their hands as well as with their lips. They love to touch you. They love to hold you, hold on to you as well. And they love it when you do the same for them. I want, I'm going to cry in your arms. It feels so good each time you hold me. Yes, so a person that truly, truly wants... To, to have that tactile love language with you. They have this style of, this love energy, this love style of just wanting to grip onto you, maybe grip onto your shoulders, maybe grip onto your thighs. There's just this energy of holding on. While you could be the more flowing, the more spiritually at ease partner in this connection. 
wow, I feel that these are the channeled messages that wanted to come through the meeting of souls and spirits with a person from a past life. You're meant to build a legacy within this incarnation. You're meant to start off this new romantic cycle. And I feel here that this could be a beautiful union between a water sign and an earth sign. So this is the energy that I had for you, group two. I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. Let me know down below if it resonates in any way, shape or form. And I do hope to see my next one. I'm sending you so much light. Bye.